Okay, let me thank Professor Pollack for kindly inviting me at this 10th Water Conference. The previous Water Conference ended with the presentation by Joseph Skolnik on water chirality. A few days after that presentation, we started the first experiments whose results I will present today. I won't underline that this study concerned perturbed water uh, and uh, not simply pure water. Uh, now these two uh, well-known uh, sentences, uh, the one worth uh, really um, I like this, this one. Research is seeing what everybody has seen and thinking what nobody has thought before, as Gerald has showed last minute ago. Okay. The next slide briefly summarizes the three techniques we employ to perturb water. The perturbed water are obtained using three different protocols. The first method is employed by homeopathic medicine that produce extremely diluted solutions, EDS. The second method was first introduced by in our lab. It produces a solution, water solution, with similar uh, properties of the EDS. And the third method uh, produces what we call the alternatively nationated water. Um, can you help me something for the computer? Some, some can help me? Uh, because I cannot read. Uh, okay. okay, okay, Anthony is coming. Anthony is coming. Can you uh, on the end of this? Okay, so I can read the whole. Okay, thank you, sorry. Uh, the third method exploit the exclusion zone discovered by Gerald. We named the liquid obtained through this procedure alternatively nationalized water or INW. Briefly, a sheet, a sheet of nephion is placed in a petri capsule made of polystyrene. Water is added in order to form the exclusion zone in Zeta with a soft mechanical procedure we try to shift clumps of the heat zeta in the bulk water and with a bit of luck that succeeds. The alternatively nationated water liquid show physicochemical properties that are very different from those of the initial water. In the next slide, we describe the procedure in full details. Uh, okay. The effect of nafion on sovereign molecular structure of uh, water. Nafion membranes with a surface of 16,120 square centimeters were placed in a petri capsule of polystyrene in contact with 10, 50 milliliters of pure water. Manual agitation is performed repeatedly so that the liquid laps against the membrane. The membrane is then removed from the contact of the liquid and we follow the evolution of electric conductivity which systematically increase. The membrane is then dried and put back in the iteratively National tools and at, we had to iterate this process. Nafion, you can see the chemical formula, 
is a tetrafluoroethylene polymer which sites shine building sulfonic groups. A polymer that is very stable and practically insoluble. Oh, in the next uh, slide, we describe the physico-chemical properties of, of INW, which are quite different from those of a pure milico water. The water in contact with the strongly hydrophilic natural membrane has changed and no longer matches the chemical and physical parameter of the sealed water. The, var the, the, the varied par parameters are uh, here. Uh, Right, and in the liquid phase, the iterative raffinato of the water has all its, phys its physical chemical parameters deeply modified with differences that can reach three order of magnitude. All of these measures of physical chemical parameter parameters are performed after removing the natural membrane. So we not study the in situ but what uh, uh, succeed when clumps of its zeta are put in the bulk water. For example, the specific electrical conductivity increases in function of the duration, duration of the perturbation, but is non linear correlated. Okay. And here yeah, we uh, show an extraordinary variation of the pH up to about three units and the linear correlation between pH and the logarithm of electrical conductivity as if we were dealing with a chemical acid. And this is published in the first reference. In the second cited reference through measurements of physical characterizing obs observables of water symbols perturbed by the presence of natrium and by iterativity filtration procedure, we discuss their scale-free subsimilar fractal properties. Even the simple spectroscopic methodology in the ultraviolet is able to highlight the variation of supermolecular structure of the solvent water. In this slide, we show the same spectroscopic results, absorbance in the range 270 300 nanometers, for two kinds of perturbed water, iterative rinascinase the water, the red one, and uh, iterativity filtered water, one of the three methods which we perturbated and not described in the tail. But simply, we put in a fil uh, on a filter water, filtered, re re recovered the, the liquid, and refiltered, and so on. And this procedure uh, produces uh, liquid with characteristics very similar to the ADS of uh, homeopathic medicine. Uh, OK, the results confirms the idea that water is the main contributor to the physical chemical parameter measured. Very different protocols of obtained perturbed water give very similar results, characterized by some peculiarity. The absorbance in the UV visible region is shown here uh, since the, it supports the existence of a circular dichroin spectra we will show hereafter. Now we um, talk about some different kind of measurements and I refer to Florence microscopy. Uh, some, some word about this technique. Uh, uh, still pertaining to liquid phase of the iterative raffinated water, uh, the, this, this slide, uh, not the first slide, contains the first ever photograph of a molecular aggregate of water molecules in micrometric size. To obtain such, Im such images, nanospheres of polystyrene soaked in fluorescein are inserted in the liquid sample of iterative and infinite water. 
the symbol with the nanospheres in there is then illuminated using UV light. And the seas emit fluorescent light, so they tell us I, 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 ah, here. Finally, using an optical microscopy, we obtain the following image. The alternative in a finance of the water, and we can see molecular aggregates in the liquid phase phase can be seen. We have photographs of these molecular aggregates obtained simply put in contact water with natural membranes. Okay, now is a, a more specialized, uh, specialized um, technique, but. As many of you will know, circular dye-gray spectroscopy is a widely adopted technique in the study of biological macromolecules. And in the next slide, the CD, circular dye and uh, spectra of some very well-known biological macromolecules are shown. Okay. Uh, on the abscissa, there is the absorbent difference of absorbance of um, light polarized uh, And uh, as you can see, there are about four different uh, behavior, alpha helix of these macromolecules, in this case, Polylevo proline have two minima in the region you can see, and the beta sheet, the red one, has one minimum and the maximum, and so on, a random coil has a minimum in the region of the left, and so on. This technique was used normally when you, when researcher uh, works in the, in, in the field of uh, biological micromolecules. The, the case of exhalism. Uh, we are in presence of a cycle of at least six benzenic ring. During the, the synthesis of the molecule, the closest of the ring can be introduced yielding the coronin, which is no optical activity, and hence no circular dichroism. If during the synthesis the ring does not close, there are two secondary structures which can form. Even with no asymmetric centers, water have no asymmetric centers, for example, the secondary structure can exhibit optical activity as shown in the slide, in which you can see the uh, mirror image that are not sovraponable. And this, uh, relatively, this is a relatively new finding, and it opens the door for a possible acceptance of, of our experimental CD results in water. The slide report the CD spectra obtained on some of our INW samples. As a way, when de dealing with complex far from equilibrium systems, these, de these data are not reproducible, but they are repeatable. In the specific case of iterative uh, in the water, the value of the minimum absorbance is only partially correlated to the electrical conductivity measured. All the sample, and I stress, all of them produce a highly significant CD spectrum that allows to characterize the supposed macromolecule whose secondary structure is a typical of a beta sheet with variable twisting. The existence of the CD spectra means that we have a macromolecule and these macromolecules have a secondary structure, like a protein, 
like a polypeptide, like a DNA, and so on. So, a biological macromolecule. Okay. Uh, you can see that in, in, in the on the right, you, uh, we reported the electrical conductivity in micro siemens, centimeter to minus one, for all the, the, the sample here reported. And there is some relation with the, uh, the higher the conductivity, the higher the minimum, but not linear correlate, because we are uh, in front of. Um, dissipative structure. <laughs> there are no repetitive, no, uh, sorry, <laughs> there is impossible to have the same results, but it's important that it can repeat. Okay, and now, the, this slide reports the so-called thermic procedure. The procedure is to heat the sample in the CD cell at the reported temperature. At each set temperature, after about 20 minutes, minutes the circular dipersium spectra uh, were, are measured. It can be seen, it can be easily seen, that at 19 centigrade, the value of CD is greatly, of the minimum of the C, is greatly diminished. It is evident that the kinetic of denaturation is rather slow. I use the term denaturation that is typical for the uh, transition from a biological micromolecule in the native state where we can uh, work in, in the biological system to a system that cannot have this, uh, this characteristic. Well, they are, they are at 19 degrees centigrade the, uh, the minimum of the CD spectra exists, but it's not, uh, not really uh, eliminated. So it is clear, okay, as I showed this slide, in, in which the CD spectra, for example, keep it at 19 centigrade for an hour or for... Uh, Uh, for one hour or for uh, four years and uh, 21 hour and uh, four years, the, um, it is rather clear that the decrease CD is fairly slow. The most strange, the most strange thing, this extraordinary thermal resistance of these macromolecules, really very, very, very stable to the heat, uh, well, in this slide we show the prolonged thermal treatment cancels any circular dichroism effect. What is, is, has been said till now demonstrate a staggering similarity between iterative that's a water, chemical water, and a biological macromolecule. This parallel does, does not end here. It is common knowledge that a biological macromolecule, a protein, for instance, can exist in this native state, as I told you before, and in the natural state. In the natural state, instead, in, 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 in the native state, it can carry out biological activity. In the, the natural state, instead, it loses this possibility. One of the standard methods to denaturate a protein, protein is the increase of temperature. Okay. And increasing temperature, we denaturate, sorry for denaturate water, iteratively naturalize the water. It is not necessary a rupture of the symmetry of water, because the secondary structure of these macromolecules of water can, can, can give cyclical dichroism. And in this case, uh, we can denaturate this uh, system. Okay? We conclude that the liquid contains a macromolecule that behaves similarly to a biological macromolecule. Uh, 
these results are in the liquid state in solution. Now we go in another uh, experiment in which we study the solid state. The solid state of what? Of the aggregate of alternative natural water. I show you the photograph with the fluorescent microscopy and so on. To obtain a solid state simple of this macromolecule, it is sufficient to evaporate at room and uh, pressure and temperature a few drops of liquid I and W, as is customary for atomic force microscopy, AFFM. Another method consists in removing the bulk water using a lateralization procedure freeze drying. The freezation is freeze drying project. Okay. And in this photo, uh, we show the solid deposit found after the lyophilization of nationalized water. Obviously, it's one of the more striking examples in terms of quantity of the solid. Of course, if freeze dry, if we free, uh, freeze, freeze, uh, Freeze dry with distilled water, with the cool water, there no remains, remains no visible solid residue is a new. Well, now uh, I give you some example of uh, physical chemical measurement on this solid uh, obtained. We using higher solid state spectroscopy. The liquid sample obtained using the three different perturbation method, or in this case. Uh, hydrative and flatter water, are deprived of bulk water using the lifelization process. Uh, and uh, three different solid residuals are obtained, a few milligrams per liter of starting solution. These solids are mixed with the salt NCL and subject to high pressure using a press. This is a standard procedure to perform higher spectroscopy in solid state. And they are reported higher spectra for solid residue of iteratively refinated water and iteratively filtered water and the water, uh, liquid water, put on the solid NCL. Higher spectra of the solid residue of iteratively refinated water dot the line, IFW dash the line, and liquid water solid at room temperature. They are very similar. This suggests the idea of a solid water. The main difference are in the overall red shift you, uh, uh, of the broad or edge stretching peak and the appearance in, of an absorption line around the two, uh, two, two, uh, 2,926 centimeter to the minus one. So, I uh, have spectroscopy tell us there is a, a, a new kind of water, very similar in, in some, similar in some uh, properties, but with the appear appearance of the, the secondary peak. Well, in the next slide, I will present some images obtained through atomic force microscopy. To obtain these images, a few drops of iteratively nationalized water sample are evaporated at room temperature and uh, pressure, directly on the sample holder, before performing the measure. Okay? And this is what obtained, this was uh, published on Water Journal, uh, here we show the resulting picture from this technique on the iteratively nationalized residual. Note the eight of the uh, right uh, column um, that indicate the, uh, a high, the height of the, the, the clumps of the, 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 the structure in the, in the figure, at about uh, 400 nanometer in this case. Uh, on the right, there is a uh, water obtained with uh, uh, milico water, uh, where there is something but very, very uh, short. 
this is was in a, a, a restricted scale, but we made other measurements and we showed the topographic uh, IF, IFM, uh, AFM measurement of iterative nationality of water at one micrometer scale and 100 nanometer scale, A and B. These photos are shot at higher ma magnification at uh, enable, enable to appreciate new details. The aggregates often feature an irregular shape as seem to be grow from nucleation sites by such a sieve addition of spherical grain, A, figure A. Many times, the big aggregates are joined together by fibrillar structures that, uh, at the molar scale, figure A, appear a linear chain of grain branching out from the inner core, figure B. The ability of water to self-assembly in, in, in a network of fibers and the globulus has been observed in several samples prepared by means of different physical treatments. Okay, but this is atomic force microscopy. Is it possible to see this aggregate with another technique? Well, in the next slide, we will show an image obtained through scanning electron microscopy of the solid residue which is obtained by the virtualization of the liquid I, I and W. Okay. The size of the structure is, the, is of the same order of magnitude as the size of the structure in the liquid phase, the one of fluorescent microscopy, tens of micrometers. In this slide, it's clear, it's clear seen that the solid, as we, we can see, with uh, SEM uh, spectroscopy uh, is a polymer. When we made the first this measure, the technique is, I, I, I work in this field 20 years, and for me it is really a polymer. Of what? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I, I made some mistake. Stop no. the time? No, I think that okay. for the questions. Yes, yes, okay. I stop. So, uh, the uh, spectra that they're measuring mostly water or mostly polymer, or what, what do you think? Both. Both, okay. And, uh, and I think. And I think that water plays an important role in the prebiotic uh, life because uh, it plays not a, a role of a solvent, but uh, in, 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 in briefly you put on a balance in the holder this solid and then you uh, increase the temperature. So the solid was destroyed and go in the uh, battle phase. And uh, contemporary uh, inert gas transport what are uh, obtained with the system in a MS, in a mass spectroscopy system. And there is nothing of different of water and uh, the transport gears and so on. Okay. Uh, nothing is, exists in the liquid of a relative transit of water because when you uh, destroy the natural membrane in the uh, alkaline system to uh, add information of acid uh, anion like f mano cell main and so on, you find only sulfate, the sulfonic group of nothing, and fluoride, fluoride, and nothing, no, nothing. Carbon? No, no, nothing. no, 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 you destroy it because you uh, carbonize. Uh, I have a question about your infrared spectroscopy data. 
uh, it looks to me like there were two peaks that were present in the treated water around 1,000 nanometers. Uh, I wasn't sure which was the control, but is that true? And why? Can, how can you explain the appearance of two new peaks that are not in the control? We have no explanation. We have no explanation. Yeah, that was exactly the same spectrum that I showed with Nafion. First of all, he showed the main absorbance in infrared that was not nanometers. He showed in wave numbers. But that's okay. So this is the main. Now, what happened is that at the second, what you saw is that when you change the temperature, you st the water molecular system restructures. The hydrogen bonds are cut it, and that's why you have you could see at different places of the the main absorbance bands of water, different structure absorbs different at different places. Okay. So and I yeah I still don't expect a, a whole new peak. Sorry. Have you studied homeopathic water? I mean, dilution of, for instance, DNA in which there is no DNA left. Can you see a similar structure? We made only few measurements of CD spectra of um, EDS homeopathic. And uh, in the range of this frequency, the frequency I show, there is no CD phenomenon. But the same uh, is very similar. Thermogravimetric measurements are very similar. And the fluorescence microscopy, we, we publish it on homeopathy, uh, these uh, results, are, are give the same results of iterative refinitive water. Uh, Iterative filter water and ideas. There is some similitudes, but for example, the I and W are very acidic, and uh, EDS are uh, alkaline, and also iterative filtered water alkaline. So, some similitude and some difference, some pecul peculiarity, but it seems that all is in the same direction. The formation of aggregates of polymer and so on that give uh, let me let me uh, conceal the memory of water. 